Here we are, my newest before and after video. I'm standing in front of 1449 Blackstone Ave. It is in South Willow Glen. I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley. Let's see what we've done with this house. So here we are, this inherited property, no real front landscaping, kind of a pale pink color to the exterior. And most of the inside was original, and there's the original hardwood floors, the original fireplace. They had that opening in the wall to the other room, which is a little odd. They had put in that new tile in the kitchen. We had already started those recessed lighting, but the original kitchen, original counters, cabinets, had this um, kind of iron railing here, so you get a small step down into this family room. Yeah, just pretty original from 30, 40 years ago. This hall bath, the owner had already started removing and had plans for that. The four bedrooms, some of them had laminate flooring, some of them had that original hardwood. This is what I would consider the primary bathroom, even though it's small. They had updated the shower probably about 15 years ago with some newer tile. And uh, he had removed that vanity. And here you have it. So we just kept the front landscaping really low maintenance. We installed a drip system, put in that bark. It looks great. Updated the paint color. Look at that. It looks so much better. We painted that front landing area too, so it felt fresh and clean. We added all new interior lights. That exterior light was new. All new flooring throughout. So we kept the flooring the same throughout, which I think makes it feel larger and just sort of more spacious. We kept the same paint color throughout. We added that recessed lighting. We patched up that wall, closed that whole space, so it just kind of gave it a more complete feeling. Changed all interior doors, interior door handles, hinges, all new baseboards. That's a new vanity. Put new toilets in both bathrooms. That's the tile, but it just looked better with that paint color. Here's the primary bedroom. Here's the hall bath. The owner had already picked out this shower. If he had asked me, I probably would have kept a tub in this bathroom um, because a lot of people still need a tub if they have children. So there's no tub in the house, just two stand-up showers. But look at this kitchen. Look at how adorable it looks. New sh wood shaker cabinets. We have a spice rack drawer. We have a Lazy Susan's in the kitchen. Subway tile with the black grout. We removed that iron railing and opened up that space. Remove the quartz counters, of course. So again, that wall is patched right there on the left. So this room was more felt complete. Same flooring, same baseboards throughout. That we opened up that space, took out that railing, just cleaned up the yard. So what'd you think? You think we did a good job or what? So for this homeowner, I put in around $40,000. He put in some of his own, I'm guessing in the neighborhood of twenty dollars to $30,000. One thing I forgot to mention is that he also upgraded the water heater. He put a tankless water heater and he upgraded the electric panel. We did that with permits, so that was great for the new buyer. Uh, so let's just say round numbers, we put in around $80,000, $90,000. When I first met him, I thought they could get around $950,000 for that house. Maybe, maybe $900,000, but let's go with $950,000. Drum roll, please. We got $1,375,000. So I think that eighty dollars to $100,000 investment was well worth it. It probably earned him minimum $200,000. I will be honest, I think if we had had a bathtub in the house, he probably could have gotten about one four. Like I said, he had made that decision prior to talking to me. That was probably the buyer's biggest uh, drawback to the house, uh, even over the one-car garage. I know my husband kept saying, who wants a one-car garage? But there are lots of people that have one-car garages. But people, when they have small children, they really need a bathtub. 
So if you're thinking about remodeling your house, make sure there's a bathtub in at least one bathroom. But again, I still think it was a fantastic sale price. They're very happy. I would love to talk to you if you have any questions about fixing up your house before sale. If you need a little extra cash, I'm here to help. I get reimbursed at the close of escrow. So if you have any questions, all my contacts below. Again, I'm Annie Baker. Until next time, have a great one.